All right, you are in the kitchen with Jelly 007, and tonight it is ultimate chicken soup. And when I say ultimate chicken soup, that's what I mean. I think once you try it, you'll feel the same way. We're going to make everything, broth and all. And it's really simple if you got a pressure cooker. We're using Ninja Foodie tonight. You can do it in Instant Pot, any of them. This will work in any pressure cooker. And it blows away any chicken soup you've ever had. Hang on just a minute. I'm going to bring you all around here, set you about right here, and show you exactly what I mean, show you what I have, how I'm going to do it, and why I call it ultimate chicken soup. And you will too. Be right back. Y'all hang on. Okay, so a little bit of explaining on how it's going to happen. To make the broth, I'm using half of this chicken. To make the soup, I'm using half of this chicken. So although that looks like a lot of chicken, we're not using it all. So I'm going to use half of that and half of this. And in the broth, I'm going to use bone-in, skin-on chicken. And it's half of that is around $2.50 worth. And I'm kind of telling the prices because it looks expensive. It's not. This is The total of these carrots was $2.50. I'm going to use four of them in the broth. I'll set that there. I'm going to use, I don't know, uh, 50 cents worth of celery in the broth. I'm going to use about four peppercorns, maybe five or six peppercorns in the broth. I'm going to use one and a half of these onions in the broth. And that is it. Like I said, I'm going to cover it with filtered water and we're going to cook that for 45 minutes. And the thing that that will do is it will cook this chicken down to what I believe is not that tasty or not that it's, it gets kind of dry and chewy even though that's why I use chicken thighs I'm not a big fan of breast at any time especially a lot of people use whole chickens I'm going to touch on this right quick a lot of people use whole chickens for this kind of stuff well if you do you got to pull breast out or something because they're going to get where you can't eat them so I just use all chicken thighs I love dark meat anyhow so back to what we're talking about is I will once I get that done then we're going to move on to the soup part, which we'll use the, the rest of the ingredients that I've mentioned. But what this is not going to be thrown away. We're not going to use this after that 45 minutes of cooking in our soup. But my wife, also known as Baby Doll, she uses it for uh, a lot of things, but she's going to make buffalo chicken dip. The weekend's coming up, so we'll put these in the refrigerator, or, and she's going to make an excellent buffalo chicken dip she does. And if I can get her to, she's going to make it either on this video or I'm going to make another one for it. But it, there's no reason to throw it away. It is a little cooked out. But in something like a dip, like a, like a buffalo dip or even chicken salad, you'll never know it. Now, in soup, you would. So, going to get that started, and I will be right back. I'm going to get that chicken open, get it separated, and get everything ready. i got to wash the carrots. And I'm going to do those with scotch Bright like I do all vegetables. Just, uh, I, don't, I don't peel them. I just uh, wash them real well. You'll see them in a minute. Get those carrots cut up. I'm sorry. Get those uh, onions cut up and everything sliced. So anyhow, I'll be right back. Y'all hold on. Okay, so I've washed the chicken and there's six pieces in there. There was 12 total. So that's around two and a half pounds of chicken. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out two. I'm going to pick these two out for my soup. And I've already picked me out some uh, celery. So uh, I've got this, these cut up. That's all I'm doing to them, quartering those. And then this right here on the celery. I mean, that and that. And the same thing on the carrots, which is just pretty much obvious and i don't even know why you you get my drift but that's it i'm going to put these in there then i'm going to cover those with water and uh and then we're going to do that 45 minute cook so y'all hang on i'll get this going i'll be right back okay so this is right at seven cups of filtered water and it is wanting to splash real bad so i'm going real slow but all I'm going to do is cover these up a little bit. We'll see how many cups it uses. In fact, I think it's going to get the whole seven cups. That is, you know what? Seven cups. That's what it is. It's not that big a deal. It'll, have, it'll be a little more broth. Now, 
I still haven't put my peppercorns in, so I'm going to put those in. I don't add salt. I just don't. There's plenty of times to add salt. I mean, and I'm, as you can see, I'm a little careful with the pepper because I think, you know, you can go too far and you can do that afterwards too. So I'm going to see if I, maybe I should back this up so you can see it, but I think you understand. Uh, right now, put the lid on, put it on seal. We're going to do pressure on high for 45 minutes. We are off and running. When that comes up, we'll do a, I'm gonna do like a 10 minute natural release because I don't want, I just wanna do that. You know, I don't really have a good reason. Just don't wanna drop it all off right quick. But either way, as soon as that's done, we'll get that out and I'll show you the next step, which is straining a little bit and getting that broth ready. Be right back. Okay, so as you can see, we're coming up on the 45 minute end of the cook time, which all I'm going to do is nothing. I'm going to let it turn around and start counting up to 10 minutes. So we're going to do a, a 10 minute natural release. All right, I've chopped my onions up because that's what's going in next. And here's the four cloves. This is four cloves of garlic that I've minced. And uh, that's going in along with this. That's all that's going in on the next step because the next step of cooking, we're going to uh, pull this out in fact that's counting up now so we're going to take everything out let it and we're going to strain it and get some of the uh, solids and out and just try and get it down to just the broth all right then we're going to pour the broth back on about six or seven of those boneless skinless chicken uh chicken thighs i'm sorry and we're gonna when we do that we'll add the onions and the garlic now this won't go in till later but the thing is, is that we're not crazy, you know, like I've told you before on some of my videos, uh, we love onions, but they don't exactly love us. So I, I like them cooked down. We like them cooked down a little bit. So they're going in with the chicken, as is the garlic. Now this right here, like I said, won't go in until after I cook the, uh, the, the boneless, skinless breast. But we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I just wanted to bring you up to speed right now where I'm at. And we've got a few more minutes, like nine more minutes of natural release, and we're going to make some of that happen. Be right back. Okay, we're coming up on the 10 minute mark. So all we gotta do at this point is, whoops, quick release. Let that bleed down, be right back. Okay, there it went. And you can see it took, I think you can see, four minutes and about 15 seconds. Let's see what it looks like. And it looks excellent. <laughs> It really does. And, and I want to say that at this point, you know, we're making chicken soup. But at this point, this is some excellent chicken broth. And that's really what it is. You, you can make anything with it, anything you would use chicken broth for. And you know what's in it. And it's really good. I mean, matzo ball, uh, tortilla, chicken soup, Mexican soup. You got a hundred things. Way more than that. But... Just a lot of soups you can make, so I'll get off of that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to let that cool down just a little bit. Now, I am going to turn off this keep warm, and when you do, you lose your timer. So we're going to turn that off for just a second, or for, for a, a few minutes. And like I said, you lose your timer when you do that. I don't, I don't know why they do that, but that's the case. And I may set this out and let it cool, because all we're going to do is I'm going to take these tongs, and we're going to start moving stuff out. But I'm going to give it a minute to sit. But like I said, you can it that is that is ultimate chicken broth, and uh, that you can use for anything you would use chicken broth for. I don't have to say that. But anyhow, I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just move this over, and if I get some of that fat off that chicken, it's okay. But like I said, uh, baby doll is going to make some buffalo dip. I'm going to set it over here. Set it to one side. Now you can see that chicken's cooked down pretty good. I mean, 45 minutes of pressure is a, is a lot for chicken. And, and even the vegetables. And you can see I got the fat right there. I may have to get some of that meat out of there. But it's no big deal. I mean, I'll, when it cools, it's a lot easier to do. So, but I'm not, I'm not in that big of a hurry. I just want to get it done. <laughs> so right now I'm moving the vegetables to here just so I can ease a little bit easier for me to pour it out. I don't want to uh, make a mess. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I have uh, 
let it cool a little bit. Did some wash some dishes and stuff like that. Got the got a few things straightened out. And I've got the vegetables out. Let's see if you can see those. You can. And they're in a colander also. So I'm going to capture that juice. The chicken that uh, we're going to use in the uh, buffalo dip tomorrow is right there. I let it drain out uh, and captured that juice. And this is easier said than done. So I'm going to kind of get a better grip on it. So hold on just a second. I'm going to move that just a little bit and see if I can get a better angle. Because I do not want to pour this everywhere. And you're probably not going to be able to see it on the camera, but I uh, just pardon me. Because <laughs> it's, uh, in fact, I'll turn it where you can. Because now I got it low enough, I think I can do it. Uh, I think you can see that. I'm not positive. But see, I'm using a really fine mesh. And I like to fill that two, uh, that eight cup, I mean, uh, I like to fill that uh, container up. My, uh, Measuring cup like to fill up, but it's no big deal. It didn't so There is what we're going to cook our chick. That is our chicken soup. <laughs> we're just going to add some more chicken to it so I'm going to get that uh, uh get the The uh, liner cleaned up a little bit set it back in and we're going to put the chicken that I've got sitting here the bone the skinless boneless chicken which, by the way, I'm not doing anything to. You would probably, or most people might want to, you know, trim some of the fat. I just don't. I, I, leave, I leave it in there because I got another thing I want to say. And it takes a minute to explain. I was going to do it later, but I'll say it now. Once you cook this and, and, and say you cool it down and put it in the refrigerator like, like I will tonight in here, in the morning, you'll have a layer of a, of fat you can make this a fat free as you, you can make it as fat free as you want because there'll be a puck some people call it on top of the liquid and that is all the fat that rises to the top and you can pull that off and then if you want to say cut off some of it and add it back to it and throw the rest of it away you can but now that that requires overnight in the refrigerator so anyhow we're going to get this started and i'll explain that maybe a little better in a minute because I've also got another thing I'm going to show you, whatever I did with it. Uh, and this is like, you can freeze in this, especially if you're going to gift it to someone. And I, I think just the broth, if you don't, like right now, before you make chicken soup, you, use this broth. I mean, that, be honest with you, that's as good a stuff as you're going to get. And yeah, we're making chicken soup, but you don't have to. You could split this up right now and make you a little chicken soup tonight and pour the rest of it in here. Or I've got other containers. Well, this right here. This is probably what I'll put it in. Now, if I was going to give it to someone, I would probably put it in that glass jar. you got to be a little careful about freezing it. you got to leave an air gap. There's more to it than that. you got to make sure you're using a freezer mason jar. But these right here, I, I can freeze for me for later and set these in the refrigerator. That's what I'm going to do. But anyhow, y'all hang on. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so since we're on the subject of... of fat i thought i'd show this right quick if you do want to and i may a little bit i mean it's not that big a deal you just take some kitchen shears and cut the fat off just like that it's it's not it's not hard to do and you can really reduce how much fat now I, i'm not a big i don't worry about that i'm how just put, I, maybe i should and and i agree it, it's not a bad idea I, my grandmother didn't, and I just don't. I, don't, I guess that's why. I, I really don't know. But you can also already see, I think, let me lower the camera and see if you can see where the fat's already rising to the top, which I'm not going to get off. You could actually dip that off. That is fat, so it, it comes to the top. In fact, it's pretty easy to, uh, to remove if you want to especially if you set it in the refrigerator. If you set that, in fact, if you wanted to make fat free, you'd trim this off, you would set that in the refrigerator, cover it. In the morning, all the fat that's in here will be that puck I'm talking about. I don't really know of a better term that you can literally pick off of there and either put back in some or make it pretty much totally fat free, you know, depending on how, how far long you want to spend on it. But uh, we're not... <laughs> Mine's not fat free, so I'm gonna roll this back up and we're going to put this right here. I'm going to put, I've already washed these off. I'm gonna drop them in there just like that. And uh, 
let's see if there's anything I got to do right quick. I don't think so. Everything's ready. I've got to put the onions on, or the half an onion that I've rough chopped, I'm going to call it. And then I may have a little trick getting some of this minced garlic out, but if it don't all go, it's not a crisis. Uh, but you can see that's a, well, that's a quarter teaspoon. So, well, it was, one of them was a really large piece of garlic. So I, I used, I think it was three, didn't I say? Doesn't matter. I just wanted garlic in it. I wanted garlic in the soup. I didn't want it in my broth. And I don't know why, because if I were going to use that for broth instead of soup, that's the way I like to make broth. So that's why I don't put anything but what you saw in, in my broth. And, uh, and it's pretty much just a chicken soup base. So now the next tricky part, and it's still a little warm, is to pour that on there just like that and i promise you it, a lot of people say there's a lot of pro, uh, healing properties in uh in chicken soup well take my word if there's pro, uh, if there is with that much chicken broth off of actual chicken nothing but water and chicken and you saw how pretty that that's a very pretty broth i mean it's a golden color it is as good as it gets so let's see we got that in the the garlic the onions and that's all that's going in at this point because we're going to do like i said we're going to do four minutes right now and let's see where my camera's pointing <laughs> we'll do four minutes on high pressure and of course you got to seal it and we're off and going so after four minutes we're going to pull it out i'm going to check the temp on them and then we're going to add the carrots and the celery for like two more minutes. And that's kind of a, something you got to make on your own. I like them after about two minutes. It, it, celery cooks a little further than I want, but I'm going to chop it down to fairly small pieces so you really just get the flavor, even though there's already celery. You know, people use celery salt. That's why. Celery has a really good flavor. So we're going to, anyhow, you'll get to see in just a second. Y'all hold on. I'll be right back. All right, we're coming up on the four minute. And all we're going to do is a quick release. So, there you go. Be right back. All righty, there it goes. So, let's see what we got right now. Pull the lid off. And, I mean, look at the broth. I mean, that, that, it speaks for itself. A very clear golden broth. It looks... Excellent. So let's check temps. Make sure we're good at that four minutes. A lot of people think we won't be, but I've never had a problem with it. So, but if we do, you know, it's not a problem. All you do, I'm going to find a bigger one. All you do is put the lid back on and go another minute or two. In fact, you could even put the vegetables in at that point because, but we're going to see. So figure out how to do this and not block the camera and all the stuff I sometimes do. Let's see. Uh, well, what's it doing? May have bad batteries. I've never seen that uh, before. So, I will have to do something different. But I will. I promise you, I'm going to get something and read that temperature with. I hope I can find something. Never saw that before. It, it, that's the first time it's, the Accurite's ever failed on me. But it, it did. So, it's telling me the batteries are low. So, y'all hold on. Okay, I put new batteries twice. None of it worked. And I know this is notorious for flashing on the screen, but that says 78 degrees at this moment right now. Now, this one's been out for a few minutes. You can see I'm 10 minutes and 38 seconds on the uh, thing. So, I, I'm not sure this is one I want to read, but we're going to because I already pulled it out. I'll read another one. But I'm looking for 160 or better. But now it's been quite a while because I had to put two batteries in and none of that worked. It still gave me those LLL, whatever that is on there. I'll have to buy another one tomorrow. But as you can see, I hope you can see, 150, 151, 152, and I'm still climbing. And I feel positive this is well within temp range. I know it from many a times before, just the first time I've ever had a problem, 
There's 156. And I'm going to pull one out of the liquid that's there, and I may put this one back in. And we're going to look at it one more time, but that one got to 156, and I'm looking for 160. In fact, 156 is fine with me because I'm fixing, I mean, it, it, I guess, it, I think the temp that you need is 160, but uh, with all this going on, <laughs> but here's another one. So we'll... We'll see what it reads. Again, I'm not sure you can see the uh, that screen because I know from past experiences that it is bad to flicker. But we're climbing 147, 156, 163, 160, 73, 78, 79, 81. There's 184, 185. We're well within the, the limit. So that got way more complicated than I meant for it to. But as you can see, it's safe to eat. <laughs> that was my whole point. So I will buy another thermometer tomorrow. But I, hey, I have all kinds of issues around here. So long story short, I'm going to get these out, put them in here, put the, uh, the carrots and stuff in there and cook that for uh, two minutes. But anyhow, let me get my act together and I'll be right back. All right. What we're going to do now, as soon as that runs down to four, to zero, we're going to do a quick release. I'm going to, I got this chicken cut up into, you know, bite-sized pieces. It's excellent. So all we got to do now is release that pressure, let that bleed down and put it in. Now, all right. There went the pen. Let's see. And uh, you can't get that out of no can. That's all I'll say right there. That looks uh, as good as it gets to me. And I think that is the definition of chicken of, of chicken soup. And like I said, chicken broth. Either one. A while ago we had chicken broth. So now I'm going to add chicken till I think it's right. And it may be all of it. And it, it may not be, because I can put it in uh, uh, baby dolls. <laughs> if I got more than I need, you know, it's, it's simple. I'll add it to what she's going to do tomorrow with the buffalo chicken. So, I'm going to see what that right there looks like. I'm going to let it sit just a minute. And I'm going to stir that up a little bit. But we're definitely going to get a bowl of it out in just a minute. And see how it is. I'm gonna pull one of those carrots out and see how they did. If they're under or over, just just so I'll know. And then we'll let that cool down just a minute. But y'all hold on. I'll be right back. All right. I think that carrot ought to be cool enough. Let's see. And um, it's still hot, but it's good. I am gonna knock to keep warm off because that's going in the refrigerator. And once it cools down, I'm going to put it in those containers I showed you a while ago to freeze, but not before I eat a bowl tonight. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to put more chicken or not. There's, there's plenty in there, and you can, maybe you can see what I'm stirring. Maybe not, but I may put a little bit more in there. But that's that, I, I promise you, the, that's the, uh, that's the uh, ultimate, that's the ultimate, Chicken soup. I am going to put one more scoop of chicken in there. I'm going to let that cool off just a minute, and I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to get a bowl out. And, I mean, that is chicken broth right there. And I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but let's see. Yeah, you can. That is excellent chicken broth making some ultimate chicken soup and that's what that is and that's all there is to it so i'm fixing to uh, put some maybe put a little pepper on it but a little pepper and a little salt and some of those right there those if you ain't tried those mini crackers those mini premium saltines you need to they're excellent so y'all hold on i'm gonna get myself together be right back okay 
ultimate chicken soup and i promise you that is what it is and uh the the flavor is chicken i mean chicken and you know why i mean it it, it took several pieces of chicken but i mean it's not that much money and when you consider buying broth it's probably around the same now it needs salt if you ask me and i put a little pepper uh but the flavor is again you put it in some mason jars and gift this to someone say you got a friend that's you know not feeling well and chicken soup's supposed to be the trick uh this is in fact it does have you know they, they say it has healing properties a lot of uh, people eat chicken broth or they drink it during the day well this that's what it is again this is nothing but chicken broth and i'm by, by the way if you hadn't tried these right here man they are excellent on chili and everything but they're they're just saltines they're just minis they're neat and they work great in stuff like this so in the kitchen with jelly and even though we had a little mishap with our thing <laughs> it turned out pretty good that is some very very good you'll not beat chicken soup and again it doesn't even have to be chicken soup you can put noodles in it you can do italian soup once you get to the chicken broth you've got the base for a lot of things so and, and I will say what, right quick, the four minutes I do on chicken, I, I see people do like 12, even 15, a lot, a lot more than I do. But if you'll get you one of those things, and one of those uh, instant read thermometers, you'll see it doesn't need that. I mean, I've done it many, many times. And, uh, you know, 186 a while ago, and that was uh, after it had set for a little bit. And uh, if you look at my chicken and dumplings, it was 200, and that's when that thing worked. And I don't know what happened to it. It just, you know, hey, things go out. I've probably had it three years. Anyhow, in the, in the kitchen with Jelly, thanks for watching. I love y'all. I really do. Uh, try some, if, if you know, try some, if you want to go to this much trouble, and it's not that much, especially if you've got a pressure cooker, like I said, this is the way to cook chicken soup. So anyhow, y'all come back to see me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.